She was probably scared, but went back to pick out her favorite flavored candy bar. Then I saw her and the man go over to look in the van. He picked her up and threw her. I guess I was not quick enough, and due to my irresponsibility, my sister went missing. I tried to stop him. Unfortunately, I'm only human and cannot run faster than his van. Help! I screamed at the top of my lungs. I then fell to the ground crying. I got up quickly and ran into the house, locked the door, and then called my mother. She said she'd be right home. She must have called the police officer and asked him to come to her house. In less than five minutes, a police officer had shown up with his sirens and lights flashing. He knocked at the door, but before I opened it, I peeked out the blind. I wanted to make sure it wasn't that man again. When I saw that it was the officer, I kindly allowed him to enter. My mother came home about 15 minutes after the phone call. She was crying hysterically. She finally got in touch with my father, and he came home from wherever the hell he was at the time. My parents kept trying to reassure me that none of this was my fault, but I knew they were wrong. They also told me everything would be okay, and eventually we'd all be back together as a family. That was a lie, too. A couple hours after having talked to the police, my mother received a phone call. They told her they found the van, but it was empty. Except they found hard evidence. The kidnapper dropped his ID outside the vehicle. He must have done it accidentally, trying to, <coughs> trying to hurry to switch cars. Apparently, an eyewitness saw a man force a small girl into another car. But it all happened so fast, the woman couldn't write down information. I started feeling a bit more hopeful, knowing someone saw her alive. That gave me the motivation and determination that one day I would see her again. My father said nothing through this whole thing, but why would he? He was never home. He probably doesn't even know our names, let alone care that Kristen went missing. For all I knew, he had another family someplace else, where he'd much rather be. They were probably the perfect family. He even loved them more than us. I wonder if they ever knew about my mother and I. Why would he want them to? We were his imperfect family. Well, we didn't need his perfect protection now anyway. We haven't seen him since. He didn't know that a few months ago, two men were in custody for Kristen's abduction, but were released because there wasn't enough proof to lock them up. The ID the police found was stolen. That was the only piece of evidence holding the two men from their freedom, the way they held my sister from hers. I still believe, until this day, two men had a part in Kristen's disappearance, Uncle David and his brother Jimmy. As for my mom and I, we tried to carry on. We moved to another town 20 minutes away and tried to forget the horrible memories of my sister's disappearance. Yet, I still find myself roaming the streets in hopes to one day meet her again.